Aloha everyone, and welcome back to The Purpose. I'm Josiah G. Mizukami, your true messiah of earth, a god in human form, and a healthy one. I wanted to give this <laughs> Oh no. I'm recording this only a couple hours after Mutahar from Some Ordinary Gamers posted a video about this guy. Uh, I'm going to kind of rush this because I think this guy's channel is going to get nuked and I want to get this video out before that happens. His name is Josiah G. Mitsukami and, well, apparently he's the messiah? I didn't know that Christians have been wrong for 2,000 years, and now we just finally figured out the truth. In all reality, that's not the reason that his channel might be getting nuked soon. Uh, Mudahar pointed some stuff out that I really don't want to go over because even with the fair use things on YouTube, talking about this kind of stuff might uh, not be good for any channel, even if they're covering it. Let me look at his channel real quick. Um, he has... A ton of videos where he apparently details all of the details of the universe. He's explained everything. So, I mean, you just watch these hundred or so videos and apparently you know everything uh, that he knows and then you can become a god just like him. The weird thing, though, is even though he believes other people can become gods, he's not a Mormon. It's like some kind of weird hodgepodge of different religions. Uh, you'll see if you go down... There seems to be this weird pattern where he has a video of him talking and a video of the logo of the purpose, which sometimes apparently ends up just being him talking. Uh, you'll have him talking, then the purpose, then him talking, then the purpose. And there's a little variation, but for the most part, that's the case. Except for... Where did it go? Oh. Okay, we've had an update since last time I saw this. Right here you see episode 51, The Truth About Polygamy. Right here you see episode 48, The Perfect Relationships. There's three videos here that, well, there's three videos not here. There's three videos that used to be here. Luckily, I have recorded part of one of them, although I don't think that I'm going to show it because there's a reason he took them down. Let's just say one of them starts with the word P and has to do with kids. Uh, and the other one starts with I and has to do with families. And the last one starts with a Z and has to do with animals. If you see he's talking about perfect relationships here, you can probably guess where I'm going with that. And I think I'll leave it there because that's not the subject I want to talk about. It's despicable. And for that reason, his channel has been reported and is probably going to get taken down soon. Uh, but he talks about some other things that as Christians we should be aware of. I subjected myself to an hour and a half of this guy. Uh, there are three videos. If you search on his channel for the word Messiah, you'll see there are three videos here. I've watched all of them and I recorded all of them and it's just, it's the most, it's like someone's trying to write an essay and they need to fill in space so they take the same sentence and they rewrite it in a different way. And it's just, that's what it is throughout the whole video. He talks about, he talks mainly about becoming God by being harm free. That's the word he uses a lot, a lot, harm free. As long as you're doing anything, you can do whatever you want as long as it's harm free and then it's good, it's righteous. But his description of harm free I mean, he doesn't really go into any description of harm free. It's kind of just like whatever he wants to do. You'll see he's very proud here of this large, what, California king size bed. Uh, he, we're talking about relationships here of a very uh, intimate nature, shall we say. He's on this bed and he talks about relations he has. I have a question for him that he'll never hear because I'll never be able to reach him. Josiah, if you're the Messiah, see what I did there? Josiah, if he's the Messiah, why would you need to have any physical relations with people? He calls himself Messiah, the King of Judea, Judah and Israel, 
Earth's true Messiah. The mo- he has the most important message on Earth. And it's just, oh my gosh. Here, let me show you. He doesn't stop looking at the camera like this. This is a 29 minute and 19 second video. And he looks at the camera like this the whole time. There's no moving around. There's not like him sitting back here talking like this. It's just him looking at the camera like this with crazy eyes the whole time. And he's talking about the different things that he wants to do and reach higher consciousness with other people. And holy moly. He's not the first person to do this. There have been plenty other cult leaders in the past. And he's really not even a cult leader. He has 123 subscribers. By the way, he had 94 this morning when I checked on it the first time. He's gotten 100. He has 123 now. I'm guessing people are just following him for the meme. Uh, Speaking of that, I don't know if this guy is a meme. I don't think he is. I looked at it first at first and I was I was thinking there's no way that he's truthful about this. But there's a hundred videos ranging from like four minutes to an hour of him talking, not only to the camera, but he's talking to other people, saying the same message over and over and over again. I don't think he's joking. However, if you look at the description of his channel here, I'd just like to point out He's talking about the infinite flow of aloha, holy spirit, chi, whatever. Uh, One of these things is not like the other. That's why I thought it was kind of a joke at the beginning, but I I don't think he's joking now. Um, An interesting thing here is if you want to contribute to him, he has this thing called the GDVS, Universal Democratic Voting System, or I guess Global Democratic Voting System, Interestingly, the video that's displayed here for it, the first video, has been taken down by YouTube. You'll see this video has been removed for violating YouTube's terms of service. So actually, I'm surprised YouTube is actually doing something uh, when a channel gets flagged. This is very nice. Uh, You'll see here he has a goal of $100 million, uh, of which there has been raised nothing yet. So best of luck with the 810 days you have left. Uh, I don't think he's gonna get there. I don't know. Not on a good track so far. Who knows what the heck this thing actually is. It's something about communication and whatnot and voting, but it's just a whole bunch of garbage. Uh, let's see, he has the links to like everything here. So let me go to his website. Skyview Design is this thing that he has. Skyview.design. So here we go. Skyview.design. God's Company. Awesome. Skyview Design is an infinite conglomerate for the people and by the people. One of Skyview's focuses includes sharing intellectual content regarding life's healthiest nature and nurture. Does this make sense yet? Collaboration with all in mutual respect and harmony fully recognizes and supports our universal family's purpose. This is this is every video. This is every video that I've watched so far. I haven't watched every video, to be fair. I'm not going to watch every video because I will go insane. I've watched three half-hour videos and half of the video where he talks about the I word. Uh, I couldn't stomach that anymore. I had to go like decompress and eat something. Let's keep going. One main focus is to extend the universal democracy that we live in while developing our optimal state of equality and ending all harmful practices to give way to restoration and and innovation. What? You can keep reading this for yourself. I'm going to move on. As a side note real quick, Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers goes into more of the dark details of this stuff. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a video you'll like because it's disgusting but I highly recommend going to see it because you have to understand that these people exist and they're doing terrible things. Uh, This guy has a nice rosy exterior, but there is some terrible stuff going on on the underbelly, so you need to go watch that video. I'll link it down below. Okay, here's his video that is titled 
The Purpose, Episode 95, The Most Important Video to Date from Earth's True Messiah and True Gods. Whatever that means. Uh, I've stopped it here at this part because, well, this is maybe the most egregious part of this whole video. Here we go. I would like you all to recognize that you absolutely have to see and have to understand and have to be correct and righteous in the fact that I am your true Messiah. I am that Christ that the Christians have been waiting for. I am that ultimate prophet that the Muslims have lauded. And I am the true God that represents the best interest of all people. Okay. Are you angry yet? <laughs> <laughs> apparently he is the second coming of christ where have we heard that before uh apparently he's also the messiah that the muslims have been waiting for actually he does kind of have a lot of similarities with muhammad even though muhammad wasn't the messiah he's he's the perfect man uh there's a lot of similarities and i'll kind of leave you to uh, infer what I'm meaning there. There's a lot of similarities when it comes to younger people and their propensity to like them. We'll leave it there. But with Christianity, apparently this is the second coming of Christ. I mean, I, I didn't think that uh, Christ would be, uh, what, Hawaiian? I thought he'd kind of look mis Middle Eastern, but I mean, even even still, I didn't expect that Christ would come back before the rapture happened, or that he'd come back and make YouTube videos. I thought that he was supposed to come back and uh, set things straight, and you know, he's not playing anymore. He's coming back with justice, and uh, so you know, I guess it's a little disappointing that um, Christ came back like this. You know, because, uh, well, I, I expected a little more than a nice haircut and a silk shirt. So, that's that's a little disappointing. I think, I think it'll make church a little bit strange now. So, also, it's interesting that Jesus' name is now Josiah. And he's Japanese somehow. Uh, whatever. In all seriousness, if you take a look at one of this guy's videos for more than five minutes, you can understand that he's crazy in some regard. He he does the whole crazy eyes thing where he's looking at the camera and he doesn't stop. And he blinks a lot, which may or may not be a good thing, I don't know. Uh, but he just, he sits in the same position, especially in this video. If you look at this video, the whole time... He's sitting in the same position. He doesn't move. The whole time, he's just sitting there talking super slowly. I, I don't know. I don't know. I've heard of demon possession. I've seen part of the exorcist. I've heard of people talking to demons. I don't have physical evidence of that. But if there's anything I've seen in my life that's the closest thing to that, I think it would be this guy. I think it's... It's just wild. It's just unabashedly wild. Um, there's been a lot of people, even though uh, the guy that covered this said, don't go and, you know, uh, bomb this guy's channel and write hate comments and whatnot people went and did it anyway uh for anybody that sees my video obviously don't do the same i will publicly deny that uh that that's not a good thing to do that doesn't that doesn't do anything by going and hating on the guy uh i would say from a christian perspective this is a guy who's extremely lost in some kind of sin i don't know what the heck is going on he talks about conversing with other gods, he calls them. So, I don't remember if it was in this video or if it was another one in another one, but he was talking about giving a message to the people that he had just been talking to the gods about. So I'm thinking, like, 
who is this guy talking about speaking with? He's also talking about astral projection and traveling the universe and uh, coming to Earth rather than being born on Earth. Or, no, his birth was him coming to Earth, so it's something like reincarnation. And he's also talking about people uh, being harm-free enough so that they become gods like him. It's like he merged all the religions together. And... It's just so beyond the pale. I don't know what to do about someone like that. I mean, legally, if he's talking about the things he's been talking about, that I've seen him talk about, then there's legal things that need to be done. The, the justice system needs to take its course, certainly. But from a spiritual and religious perspective, I'm not sure what's what's to be done about that. I don't have experience with confronting uh, fake messiahs just know that in the bible it talks about fake people uh fake anti fake christs antichrists many antichrists that will in the last days come and drag people away from christianity and talk about being the messiah and here we go we have a guy doing that we've had ple- people in the past doing that he's not the first there's you know someone like jim jones for example um there's also a lot of similarities to prosperity preachers. Uh, Benny Hinn comes to mind because he talks about being a little little G God, uh, whatever that means. So, I don't know. I, um, I made this video very last minute. Uh, I'm probably going to put it out early instead of on Saturday just because I want to get the word out there about this guy. Um, I figure his channel is going to be nuked soon. So if you want to see examples of what it's like to be so deluded that you think you're the Messiah, here's a perfect case study of that. Um, Anybody that's watching this, if you're a Christian or if you're religious at all, I ask that you pray for this guy because... He seems to be more dug deep into a hole than than most people I've seen. There's lots of people that struggle with addiction and uh, love of worldly things. And those are difficult hurdles to overcome. But this one, this is this is just tough. It's just so much. So I ask that you pray for him. Um. I hope that you learned something from this video. At least, maybe you learned what not to do. I'd say, if you want, keep an eye on this channel. Um, this guy is promoting things that are terrible. Without even talking about the whole spiritual, religious aspect, from a legal standpoint, he's promoting things that are terrible, and he's trying to hide his tracks. Um, so, keep an eye on the channel. If it stays up, then please ping YouTube. Uh, Twitter, apparently, is the best way to reach Team YouTube. This guy, he needs to not be posting posting this stuff online, so. I won't say I hope you like this video because, well, without even talking about what he actually talked about, it still feels kind of gross. But either way, I'll see you next time.